Folks, I see what see what I did. Oh man! Yeah, but I didn't what want a Tim guy. a part of the show tonight, so I said, "Hey, to Tim, you're not gonna be here tonight. You're just gonna be a uh, dark square." I, did I, all this work. I can hear him for nothing, but I can't see him. But <laughs> what I wanted to make sure before I brought Tim on to this '80s episode of Thursday Night Live is make sure that you guys were all sitting down <laughs> because it is absolutely something. Uh. For the eyes to behold. Well, it is something. There he is, oh, folks. Hey. There is Tim, yeah. the tool man at <laughs> <So, laughs> Oh, up, welcome back. Good to see you. To ya, another Enrique. episode of Thursday Night Live Fly Time. On this episode of Thursday Night Live Fly Time, it is all about the 80s. Yeah, the 80s. The 80s. How many of you guys were born in the 80s? And how many of you were born before the 80s so that you could enjoy? 80s you were 70s 79 two oh, months man. into the 79s folks so this is a custom made one of the gifts that you can win tonight is this vest <laughs> you want to win that vest i almost dumped my beer again <laughs> and that's really early on so uh well to to truly be true about things we might yeah. have I'm just making sure that i'm not muted here because that is a problem that we often <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's much better when we start out playing guitars and stuff, yeah, but hey, true. I yeah, tried. Really I literally tried to find an electric guitar, but hey, nobody wanted to no. lend me the electric guitar. Nope. So They must have heard us a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yes. So that's... Who's in here tonight? That's Who's a watching? good point. Uh, so guys, oh, we want to know a couple things from you. And as yes. you know, most what are those things, those. Tim? Well, we want to know where you're from. Most importantly, we also want to know what, what you're, you're drinking. We got something a little new on the docket tonight. I can't see. I don't know what's going on. But it looks like we're both is. drinking a... It's pretty dang good, too. What's it called? Like... Cold Garden Cold Lager? Garden Lager. I went to Cold Garden last night for the first time. I'm trying to get some really good uh, yeah, he's, you're, 80s he's music. Some, there were some good ones music. in there here, but I mean... You can't quite get classic like we could if we could play some music that was... Yeah, that was a little bit more mainstream, if you could still call it that, I yeah. guess. Yeah, but we will do our best to make this continue to happen for you guys. Yeah. And uh, welcome. So yeah, like Tim said, let's give a shout out to you guys. We're going to rip up here to the comment section and try to figure out who's here tonight, who's tuning in from where, and what you guys are drinking. <laughs> Just like Tim said. Oh, I see Carl has a nice electric guitar in his Yeah, in his picture. photo, but he didn't want to share that with me because he was afraid I was going to wreck it. Yeah, that's true. He could build himself a new one. Yeah, so we got to we got to amp up the energy here, yeah, folks. Yeah, 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 I feel. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. 
That's what it is? What's a good 80s dance? I wasn't around, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's the one. That's, 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 <laughs> that's the, the one. one. That one. That one won me a lot of contests at the bar. Ah, so, <laughs> this is a freaking <laughs> legend. <laughs> the legend. So, yeah, uh, you guys can win stuff tonight. We've got, actually... We're going to play some bingo in a little bit. So if you don't have your bingo card, make sure you get it at flyfishingbowriver.com slash Thursday Night Live. You can get your bingo cards there. And the bingo is going to be for some prizes. But the big prize. What is the big prize, Danny? You tell us. Ooh, fly rod. This looks like a fly rod. Uh Uh-huh. Well, let's find out what it is. From our friends at Rocky Mountain Fly Shop www.rockymountainflyshop.net mm-hmm. That's the place. You guys can order this stuff online. This as looks well. like it's a combo kit. Oh, a combo. There's a reel on there too. Uh huh. What do we got? If I'm looking at it correct, it's a nine foot six weight, Tim. Oh man, well we Tim, know we like to use those for it. A nine foot six weight rod and reel oh. and line. If I just take this real cover off, uh, I don't think there's a fly line on there. But hey, well, if you win this but... prize, I know exactly where you can get yourself <laughs> one of those fly lines. So how do you win this, okay? A rod reel combo from our friends at Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, a 9 foot 6 weight. The only way that you can win this tonight is by dressing up in the 80s costume like us mm-hmm. and sending in a photo. So if you're on Facebook, you can go into the the messenger app and you can send us one on facebook and we will throw some uh, uh voting up mm-hmm. probably just us we'll just yeah. vote on it we should. but yeah that's the only way that you can win the rod and reel tonight is to dress up in yeah. the 80s costumes <clears throat> so there might be something up high behind you that you might need to stand on your chair so people can oh maybe see what oh well i, I can't because the headphones are in there <laughs> I think what you meant is something's back here, Tim. Uh, oh, yeah. Check. yeah. Actually, Tim, why don't you tell the fine <laughs> folks what Thursday night... Tim, Tim got me some sweet shorts, oh, folks, and, shorts and folks, and he wants you guys to see them. Yeah. So, Tim, me why don't too. you tell everybody sure. what Thursday Night Live is and what it's all about, okay. and um, I'll see if I can reach what's behind me. Awesome. Guys, Thursday Night Live fly tying. Well, fly tying may be in the name... Um, But if I could sum up what this show is in one word, it's family. That's what we're about. That's what we're here for. It's a community of people coming together and supporting each other. Yes, we do some fly tying. Um, That's, if there wasn't that, I might not be here. That's that's kind of my part of the Yeah, you have no other purpose. (laughs) No other purpose. Um, But what it is, what it started as, it's about a group of people getting together. Um, We did start a long time ago in the brewery. And we all met there. But with the COVID times and everything that's happened for over a year now, we've been in studio. So... Um, this is our second season in studio and we, we like it. It's a great way to interact with a lot more people. Um, we've always been live, but now it seems like that has grown a ton. And so now what we do, every couple, every uh, Thursday night we tie a couple flies. Um, if you were lucky enough to get in on the kits that we made this year, uh, we hope to make a lot more next year. But for instance, this this guy here, so we're going in on... Wow, that was, that was fast. That was good. That was good. Yeah. good. So we're in season three, episode 15, guys. That means we only got five more after tonight five. and we're done. That's actually really sad. I don't want to talk 16, about 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, five. So what we're doing, if you're in those kits, uh, those kits are full of a couple things. So we got two different fly patterns. We've already tied the flies for you once. So at worst case scenario, you got a couple flies at the end of this. Um, but also what's in there is enough material, roughly, hopefully, to tie each of those patterns two more times. So maybe once along with us, and then maybe later you can go back and watch again and uh, watch another one. But what this has turned into, and as I'm see, sure you can see in the comments, is this is a family. This is like, I really do feel that, and I know Dana does too. It's, it's, a, it's this great group of people that are here to support each other. Um, one of the biggest things we're super excited about is at the end of the show, if, if you kind of peace out after the flies, you, you miss out on my favorite part of the show, which is the wins. We talk about our wins for the week, the things that um, bind us. It's the glue that holds our family together, uh, is getting to share those things. So in a nutshell, there's Night Live. So that is, that's probably one of your best. Yeah, uh, that was bad. That was bad. It's probably one of your best. Better descriptors. I like it. I like the yeah. one word. And this is finally a good song here for the 80s, folks. And so what Tim was trying to get at before is I was, <laughs> I was, I got to unplug my microphone and stuff, but yeah. 
I think what he wanted me to do was to check out, make sure the baking yeah. cam was still I working. I mean, we don't so need to see the baking I, quite yet, but it, maybe if you can Is it working, it. Tim? Because I better check it yeah, out. I can so. see, but you Hey, you just out. keep telling people, and I'll check it okay. out. Okay, I think it's good, but... Oh, what is that? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it lo- Oh. I don't know. Yeah, I think it looks good. Something looks good. Something looks delicious. <laughs> That's all I know. Yeah, yep. so, f- so far, so good, Tim. So it's looking really good up there, yeah. so... Um, the folks missed the bubble gum that was creeping out of those earlier. <laughs> <laughs> those are short shorts. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys uh, think that we dress from the waist up, but while Timothy's uh, got something, <laughs> you might as well show up. Oh, you uh, well, stand up and I show the folks. To see back. Well, geez, I guess maybe. I mean, I got a little bit more. Of you got the you here. got the half Canadian tuxedo going oh, on here. Oh man. You look at look you at can't, that! You can't stop there. Look at those are almost I mean, fashionable. Uh, like, well, they are. Like, we my, we can't see that they're shorts. Is there, is there something up here. Yeah, oh, there it is. There yeah, it is. there it is. Okay, it's I reached it. it. Oh, there There's it. still <laughs> some more wine left from last we, week. What's, we, we've what's going li- on? We, we, you better drink that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, that's the funny part about uh, this is. There is no rules, folks. We don't know where we're going, except we're going to tie a couple <laughs> flies tonight. And those two flies are the March Brown and the Brassy. A couple classics. So we're definitely going to tie those. So what we're going to do, we got a couple other things we're going to talk about. But first of all, let's go. Do you got the, what are you tying first? Yeah. Why don't, so you, get, why don't you get one of those flies in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. And then uh, we get people uh, threaded up, ready to rock and roll. Threaded. Rock and roll. We are going to start with uh, that. Fly loop. With a nice easy one, guys. We got the classy brassy. brassy. Classy brassy. So what I'm using for thread tonight, guys, um, and if you want to prep some materials for this, very, very simple. Um, we're going to use some ultra wire. And if you didn't know what BR stands for, it's a size, and it actually means brassy size. So that's oh, unique to this I thought fly. It meant, uh, Bow River. <laughs> Ooh, it's no, good for the no, Bow no, River. Doesn't. So this fly, we're going to tie it uh, traditional colors and copper, so you need some copper wire. It doesn't have to be brassy size, whatever you got's working. Um, and then we're going to need some peacock curl, and that's about it. For thread tonight, I'm going to stick with what I did last week, uh, one of my new favorites. I'm using some 12 aught Nano Silk. So this is, uh, I really enjoy that thread, but anything um, appropriate in color and smaller. So if you, I would say probably stick with a black thread tonight, um, or olive or something like that will be fine. And stick with a, a 70 or... Um, Something like an dot would be just fine for the dry fly as well. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. So look, we got some stuff coming in here. We got some people dressing up. Oh, man. Oh, Who's this? yeah. That's Craig. Oh, wow. Look at that. I think it's Craig. Grew a lot of hair. Look at that. So you guys can feel free. Uh, if you got my phone number, feel free to text them in. And uh, some. <laughs> we got another one. We got another one coming in. Ooh. You find folks are really doing us proud. So make sure look you guys... That. If you don't have a costume and you're not in an 80s costume, or maybe you're... The funny thing is, going out to look for these costumes, we realize that the 80s are kind of like in. Now. It's not even hard to find stuff like this. Just go borrow your wife's high-waisted well, pants. And yeah. <laughs> your, mom, your mom jeans <laughs> and uh, kind of kick it from there. So what we need to do, first of all, folks, is uh, I keep saying first of all, and I keep saying you guys, but I actually cannot read the comments with these glasses on, so that's <laughs> why I've avoided the comments. But hey, let's get back to you guys and figure out who's here and say, hey, Bruce Cole's in the house. Mike Dumont's here. Colin English. Looks like Colin got out today on the river, folks, and uh, Lucky filler. slayed a couple dragons because the uh, ES2 is wide open today. And that's yeah. not an April Fool's joke, which we'll get to later, Tim. Oh, man. Too soon. And uh, Barry Dickow's in the house. Good evening, friends. Wow. Was that a quick uh, seven days? It, is it six days or seven days? from? <clears throat> that's a good math question that I'm not really sure. Cam's here. Davis Kimball, what's up, brother? Bailu Ballant. Therapy yeah, night. Scotch on tap. Scotch on tap. Scotch like, on it's tap. actually on a tap. That's phenomenal. That sounds great. Uh, Patty awesome. from the Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Lori Dermartin. Laura. Sorry, Laura, I keep... Laura. I, it's a lot of... A lot of uh, Terry. How have we never met Terry? Sylvan Terry. Lake. Terry. Sylvan right Lake. There. Yes. Just glad to be here. Corey Fraser from Rhode Island. What's up, Corey hey, Fraser? Corey. Uh, not sure what happened. I'm usually... I'm not usually... Well, so if you're up this late, you might have done some Molly <laughs> or some other substances. Matt Ryder's here. 
Holy sweet belly high. <laughs> yes, that's a fact. <laughs> That's awesome. Sean Ellison, what's up? Hopefully you guys are all dressed up and maybe some of the ladies in the house uh, yeah. got the crimp going on. Ooh. That would be awesome, too. Make it happen. Uh, we got some birthdays popping up. Birthdays. Tim is rocking the porn stash. <laughs> yes, he is. I worked like a week and a half and yeah, he had did. to darken this so you he can did. see it. So. Uh, Tim, Tim has a ride tonight, folks. That is a fact. <laughs> and he also got picked up a sweet river ride today. And we will be taking that thing out on the river tomorrow and getting some uh, river scratches. Doug Lindsay, what's up? (laughs) Gurney, Illinois. Terry Sather, Victor Edmonds. Uh, (laughs) Malibu or Airshocks? What's that? (laughs) Victor, what's Tim driving tonight? Malibu or Airshocks? Uh, Airshocks, yeah. (laughs) He's got the Airshocks going on. Uh, The gangster in Sundry, Alberta. Lance, is that where you're from or is that where you think that Tim's from? (laughs) Um, oh man, I'm not sure I'd be welcome. Instead yeah, so what we got to try here, folks, is uh, we're cranking up the beats, and it's also birthday time. So Ooh. we got a new feature here that we want to try. Uh, maybe crashes the show, maybe not. We don't even know. But tonight is Jim James William Ooh, Crawford's 87th birthday. Eight. So there's a <laughs> there's a good chance he's not tuned oh. in tonight because. Uh, Yo, he's probably oh, got more important things to do than us, folks. Then not just us, all of us, you yeah. know. So, we so what we're gonna do, and if uh, I'm gonna cut a little Calgary drink and go longer, guys, I don't want to miss all your. Corey's here. Corey's having his retirement party tonight, Woo. and he's still here, which he sent in his photo earlier. Nice. Happy '80s night, um, Rock Lobster. <laughs> Because tuning in from Indiana, Mr. Mark Holcomb, welcome. Mark. Tony DeFrancisco, looks like a combo. <laughs> um, I did see your ass for an electric guitar, but I don't have one set up for you. Man, I should have tried harder to get one. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We didn't get buried in oh, offers. Buried, no. None, none. So I was going to open up with a riff. <laughs> uh, R-I-F-F. Uh, Roger Beatty, what's up? NC. Bruce Mathis, yes, one of the winners from last week. New bingo cards, they're all the same. So if you have one from last week, uh, go down there, get her done. So what I need to know here, folks, uh, where do you send your pick? James Riley, what's up, brother? Uh, me and Tim hey, enjoyed uh, Friday night with the Rileys last Friday. Yeah, it was great. And, um, Plan to do it tomorrow, too. Yeah, Chong is in the house. <laughs> okay, so what we need to know here... Where do you send the pic? You can send it to our messenger or you can send it if you have my phone number. Send it on Instagram, uh, whatever. Yeah, we'll look try, at it. We'll just try to lineate it a bit. So um, what we're going to do here, folks, is we only need one set of music at once. And because <laughs> it's the new birthday thing that I built. Oh, boy. Oh, hang on, folks. If we crash, we will be back on a different <laughs> uh, segment. So... Uh. Uh, I'm trying my best and let's do something like is it working <laughs> it's, oh, oh there, there it is, it is. Sort, sort of, of. <laughs> it, <laughs> we'll try it again we will not stop until we get to hear this so let me say happy birthday Happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Hey, hey, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah, Mr. Crawford, it's your birthday. 87. Yeah, and birthday. whoever else is having a birthday tonight. Yeah, let us know if you're having a birthday tonight. The music. That's <laughs> about a 3 out of a 10 for our, <laughs> for the old. Uh, hey, but we didn't crash, so that's something. So far, so good. We are so apparently good. still live. We see a red bar at the top, yeah, and that's a really good thing. So yeah, we uh, we'll get better at that. <laughs> okay, so what do we got to do next? We oh yeah, we haven't seen the bacon yet. Yeah, we, we got to get you. We got, you looked at it, glasses. but I checked it out. Definitely checked it out. Oh, good. What's up there? It's like. Is it still working, Tim? It's working. Okay. Let's look at it. Let's check out the baking cam, folks, because it's almost Easter this weekend. So we kind of went with a little bit of that theme, given the haunted Easter bunny that is behind <laughs> Tim. Cre- nothing creepy. Let's check out the it. baking cam. Ooh, oh, wait. yeah. That, folks, that, that folks is from the fine bakery at Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> we, when we, time's in an issue, just yeah. head over on door Walmart. Yeah. 
Yeah, we got a little overwhelmed today with the new intro, the overlays, all the good stuff, but uh, we made her happen and we got ourselves, we don't even know what, it's a, it's a Easter bunny flop. <laughs> it's a lot a, of frosting. A That's floppy what we flop. We don't know what's underneath the frosting, but hey, uh, beggars can't be choosers on Thursday Night Live. You guys know that all so well. And anyways, that's our baking cam. I'm Dana. <laughs> that's Tim. We're with Fly Fishing Bow Over Outfitters. This is Thursday Night Live, and we're about to tie some flies. But Ooh. first of all, let's say thanks to our wonderful sponsors who, thanks to them, make this night a little better than without them. Actually, yes, a, lot, a better. lot better. And Absolutely. we're going to get to the giveaways in a bit, so don't leave. Send your photos in. Uh, Mr. Riley, oh, you better be wearing there. 80s tonight yeah, because come on. I know you can win this fly rod and reel, and that will be your first setup And uh, L.A. Where would you go fishing around L.A.? Yeah, Other than the ocean, you'd probably have to go Northern California. Uh, but, yeah, let's check out this uh, quick word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. We're going to we're gonna check out a quick <laughs> <laughs> one. We'll be right with the amount of time we spend in front of our vices. Don't you think you deserve a pair of scissors that can make the cut? Aw, oh, great rotary vices on the market, but only the Norvice spins the hook. It's for this reason that it's been said the Norvice is the most innovative fly tying system on the market. We all deserve the right to stay organized, no matter what or where your space is. Your fly Kia table will turn any space into a well-organized fly tying realm. Own your domain. Oh, oh yeah, that. folks. Okay, we cranked up the beats. We changed them a bit. I wasn't happy with the other one. It wasn't bringing the vibes. Mm. Vibes. Encino man. Where's the, where's the, where's the, where's the we's, oh, we need sound effects. Yeah. We haven't had that one for a long time because no. we uh, got in trouble because we were waking up Benoit's wife. Oh, that's right. That's right. Benoit? Yeah, they go and release their... Uh, episodes and then they're too cool to hang out with us all right you guys give them give them crap okay Look at um this. Blake have to say tim got the new norvice shank yes he did the friends at rocky mountain fly shop shipped that down to blake uh that is a beautiful thing that is amazing wow. to hear so Love yeah so that. guys here's how it kind of works tim's gonna lead us through tying this fly and i'm gonna sit over here and chirp him <laughs> and so what you got to remember true. is there's a couple things. SOS, SOS, that allows us to stop the tying and then we take a break so that you can catch up. If you break something, if you're if it if you just can't keep the pace, that's totally fine because we got nowhere to go tonight but here with you guys. That's so right. uh, make sure that you let us know if you need us to slow down because we can definitely uh, do that you for you guys. The other thing is. If you have a question, okay, this is new, something I'm going to implement because there is a new search feature in the comments. So if you have a question, type question and then your question uh, because I, I don't want to miss the questions. They're super important to us. And um, so I have the ability to go back and search the questions in hopes that I do not miss the questions. But that's a nice feature. We, we never know. We never know. We also have the ability to favorite comments. So if you have a really good comment, we'll favorite it. Yeah. But more importantly, send your photos in, folks. We want to see you guys dressed up like this. We do. Because yep. we don't want to be the only ones sitting here tonight dressed up in these hot neon outfits. Say, looking this good. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Nice looking this play. great. Yeah, cool. So, okay. Okay. You get your threads ready, and uh, remember, SOS stops the tying, and question is a question, yeah. just like it sounds. So, just like it sounds. Um, Badu, Mike, we got. We looks like we got some people that are um, dressing up. So let's get into this tying show oh, because. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. So what we're gonna work on first here is this brassy. 
So you can see here, um, <clears throat> traditional brassy, you can tie it with a bead or without. It's, uh, it's really up to you. What is it imitating? Well, it's a bit of a searching pattern, but it can really, I think, quite well depict um, a midge. A lot of times we tie it in red, and then you've got a bloodworm or um, midge again, tied in black, you got definitely a midge. Um, it's, it's a really good searching pattern though. It's normally we're going to tie them in, in smaller sizes. So um, tonight we're tying it on a size 14. Some are 14 to 18. Uh, maybe you need to go smaller on the waters that you're on, but for our tail water here on the Bow River, this uh, a 16 is a really good size. Um, like I said before, materials are going to be really simple. Um, you're gonna, we're just going to use two materials tonight. That's it. Question, so, did we yeah. complete the list of flies for season four? No. Not yet, guys. Not yet. So if you got something you want tied, yeah. we're open to uh, that input for sure. Yeah. By the end of the season, so five episodes from now, we're going to need those in though because we're, we're going to finalize that stuff right after this season so we can yeah. get that all going. So, just so you know, make sure you get those in if you have interest in something. Oh, Jade cut Morgan a mullet for the show. So oh, well, I can't wait to see that. Let's see that. I'm almost might have to throw an after party here. <laughs> we, just to, we definitely we should have an yeah, after party. Yeah, we should today. think about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, the style of hook you want to tie this on, well, that's really up to you. Um, you, could, you could easily tie this on a standard um, nymph sprout hook or a dry fly hook even is fine. You're putting weight on it with the wire. I personally kind of like the, the caddis, I, I don't know, I label this on, my, on this bag, but I know what it is. It's just a caddis emerger hook is, is what this, this guy is in size 14. Um, that's really this, the, the kind of the style I look. I, in my mind, I'm always thinking of this pattern as being a bit of a midge, and I like a curved hook for my midge patterns. That's what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to take my thread. Again, I'm going to use, I'm just using black, and I'm going to use, uh, this is nano. Um, we haven't had a lot of thread discussions. And that's something we can discuss if it's something you guys are interested in, because there is a lot of different threads, and sometimes they can be very confusing as to what sizes. And you know, it would be more simple if every thread company was kind of working on the same, um, let's say, size. Whereas, <clears throat> you know, we have something like the photos are coming in. Are they? Oh, I can't wait to see them. Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is good. So we got this, let's say UTC. So UTC, they rate their stuff with a number up here. Um, so this is 140. That's a little bit heavier thread. I would use this for some maybe smaller streamers. I would use it for hopper patterns, stuff with foam. And then you have other, let me see if I can find one here. Let's say, for instance, this Danville. They call it a 210 denier. So this is a very similar number scheme. So the bigger the number, the heavier the thread. So if you had a UTC 70, it would be lighter than 140 and so on. Let me see if I can find another one here. So then you got uni thread, and they're kind of out on their own in the way they like to call their threads. Um, six aught. So a six aught. Well, that's pretty similar. Uh, six aught would be about a, about a seventy denier. So it's it, you do have to learn a little bit of the sizing and, and why each thread company calls it differently. But once you kind of get the the two, it's there's really only two kind of names. There's like the aughts, and then there's the the one number. Once you get them all locked down, not too bad. So for instance tonight, I'm tying on a very, very small thread, um, but this thread being nano, it's very, very expensive to be honest. Each spool is about six bucks-ish. Um, yeah, like that's not even expensive, but it's compared really to It's really not, thread. and because it's so small, you're getting a ton of thread on each spool. Um, and honestly, it's, it's worth it in my opinion for smaller flies, especially dry flies. Anyways, enough of that. So I'm gonna bring my thread, start it back, and I'm gonna bring it about to the point point of the hook here and now I'm gonna take that um, Tim's quiet guys I don't know I don't hear that oh, on my end but sorry I'll try to speak cool. no I don't think it's you we're just trying to monitor like monitor. yeah sorry. I don't know it it, it is it you is got that I hear you I hear you loud and clear I, I hear so me. I if hear everybody me. else could hear you loud and clear <laughs> so I'm using that copper color tonight if you don't have copper color don't worry you can really tie this in any color this is just the traditional pattern and how it was tied I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna lay the wire on the near side to me and kind of tuck that tag up underneath the hook a little bit just so that my first wrap really grabs it. And now I'm gonna pull back a little bit and what I wanna do is I'll take a couple wraps and I'll show you. <clears throat> I want that wire to extend to just behind the eye. So I want a nice even underbody. That's what I'm trying to get out of this because when I wrap that wire back up, I don't want there to be a big lump underneath it, okay? So I'm creating that nice even underbody by simply allowing that wire to start just behind the eye. So I'm gonna wrap forward, I'm gonna wrap back, and I'm gonna take this wire, 
gonna, I'm leaving it pretty much right on top of the hook shank, maybe a little to the near side to myself. And I just wanna secure it right down into that bend and pretty much go as deep into the bend as you want. Um, another reason that I'm really loving this new jaw from Norvice. The higher the number, the thicker the thread on the UTC. Yep, that's correct. That is correct, Darren Smith, for the correct, well, I guess it was a question. But <laughs> yes, yes, that was that, that the, the statement correct was correct. So um, pretty much if you're thinking of the number over 200, that's great thread for streamers, something you're going to be pulling hard on. When I spin deer hair with you guys, you always hear me say I'm using a 200, normally a 210 or a 250. Um, and that's... Everybody wants you to move your mic up, so... Okay, well, let's do it. See what happens. Stick it. How about you stick it in your nose? Does this help? It says... It's cracking the mics on here. It's because I got the 80s so cranked up here, Hopefully folks. that's good, guys. I don't and know. And more so Dude. because we're coming at you from analog. Because digital wasn't <laughs> legit in wasn't the 80s. Wasn't a thing. Wasn't a thing. Yeah, and if hey, you guys. missed the intro, you... you know. <laughs> oh, too bad. Too oh, bad. Dear. What you don't know, guys, is how much work actually goes into that, and I can say that because it's not me doing it. <laughs> but I watch him do it, and yeah, I know it's a lot of work. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm just going to take my thread and do a quick little half hitch up here just to save my work. And we're going to be putting that peacock curl just behind that eye, so it doesn't really matter where I half hitch, just somewhere up near the eye. I'll go ahead and get my thread out of the way, or you can leave it dangling. It's fine, too. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, <clears throat> and I'm pretty particular when it comes to wire because I don't like to show the thread that's on the underside unless I'm intentionally doing so. Um, I could use the rotary function on this, but when, I, when, I'm, when I'm using a curved style hook and it's, it really actually changes the angle, and it's hard to keep a nice even wrap until you kind of move up into the straight part of the hook. So I'm just going to do it without, the, um, without using the rotary function. But I just want to start wrapping with nice touching wraps all the way forward. Try not to allow any of that thread on the underside to show through. So making sure that those wraps are right on top of each other without actually stacking on each other, okay? Just touching, touching wraps all the way forward. Trying to, and that's why we laid that really nice even thread base and we moved that wire all the way up to the eye. It's just so that we're gonna have a nice even underbody all the way up to where we kind of tie in that thorax. Now, like I said before, you can definitely put a bead on this if you want some extra weight. How about the rotary function? Any color. Any color. Red's great. We, we tied up a bunch last year. And... Yeah. They actually fished. Yeah. I think they... Red. They look, red rum. Look like a... Great a 80s. Worm or whatever. So yeah, red is a good color. So I'm going to take this thread forward. I'm not going to go all the way to the eye. I'm going to leave a couple of eye lengths. So when I say eye length, I just mean if I were to measure that eye of the hook and I set it behind it, Gonna measure a couple back. Th think about this, guys. Uh, copper Johns, they come in red, mm -hmm. copper, copper John, chartreuse, purple, purple, yeah, whatever you want. Like, this is where your guys' imagination needs to run wild. And you see, the fly is 99% finished. I mean, crush these out, like, yeah, do a dozen and great dropper pattern. Minutes. Yeah, we, yeah, we overthink it a lot, guys. I think, um. We really don't have to overcomplicate it when it comes to these fly patterns. It's really not rocket science sometimes. And maybe one in green works great. Chartreuse, we fish some weird colors on the bow um, and they work. So try for your local water um, and see what happens. So next material is we're gonna grab, I like to do it with two strands of peacock curl. So I'm gonna grab a couple strands. Um, I'm gonna align their tips so they're aligned together. And then I'm gonna, pinch about half an inch back and I'm going to grab those tips and pull them off, break them off. And the reason I break them off is just because they are quite brittle and uh, you want to get a few fish out of this fly so you get rid of that, the most fragile part of the stem um, and then we're just going to tie it in. So I'm going to come back here as we've talked about before and a little bit of the technique base. Um, if I want a wrap to jump rearward onto my fingers instead of jumping forward, so if I try to wrap forward and my thread moves forward away from the material, it's kind of a frustrating thing. Um, so because I'm left-handed, I do it a little different. If you're right-handed, I want you to take your bobbin and spin it counterclockwise. I'm going to spin mine clockwise because I'm thinking of spinning the thread onto my finger, onto my finger, okay? So now when I take this, you can see that thread instantly jumped up against my, my finger and slides down, okay? And that's how we're gonna get our first wrap on that peacock curl. And then really make sure that it's bound down because like I said before, quite fragile. I'll just take a little half hitch and save that work. 
set it out of the way just for the sake of it. And now all I'm going to do is probably three to four turns of these two peacock curls together. I'm just going to hold them together and wrap forward, okay? Creating this nice little thorax. I like to take one wrap back onto my wire and then move forward. I'm going to create this nice little thorax up here. And I'm just going to take a collecting wrap. So that just means a wrap behind, a wrap in front, and I'll repeat that one more time just to make sure. Okay, I'm still here, folks. He hasn't crashed or burned or Anything. busted his thread. Not well, yet. Hopefully, you haven't really had to do much with your thread, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> we need to send him some of this nano. If you oh, Bruce is late that. to the party. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. Oh, Joel man. Sather's in Mexico. Hey, Joel. That's amazing. Oh, well, lucky guy. It must be nice getting to travel. Yeah. I'm going to come in here, guys, and whip finish just behind the eye. And we're going to call it a wrap on this fly. We're going to call it a wrap, just like Tim said, folks. So a question here is, uh, Matt says, what's the difference between a Copper John and a Brassy? It's just adding legs. Well, you can have a rubber leg Copper John. I want you to think of something more like this. If you tied a Copper John bigger, let's think it's an imitation of a stone fly-ish. Let's think of taking the tail off and having it be more of a mayfly nymph. And now let's think of this fly as being more of a chronomid or caddis. Yeah. If that makes sense. Very similar patterns. Uh, there's obviously more added to the Copper John, uh, but there is a slight difference. Um, so you should have both. Yeah. Lots of different colors of both. Whip it real good. Well, Tom just threw out a nice 80s um, reference to you whip finishing. Well, that's, that, that's that wonderful. Was, that was whip really real good. good. How do you play bingo? So bingo, folks, is uh, get your bingo cards right there. I threw it up on the screen, flyfishingbover.com slash Thursday Night Live. That is how you get your bingo cards. And then... Um, we, we're flying through this. We, this is a simple fly. It's a simple, simple fly. And, and we're just, we're going to give the uh, rod and reel uh, giveaway at the end of the show because we got some pretty awesome photos coming in. I don't think I've seen them all, but I'm, I'm not on the screen. So uh, yeah, there, there you go, folks. That's how you get your bingo cards. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to put me and we'll, Tim. We'll explain it a little better once we start to play. Um, as to kind of what you're looking for but it's very very simple you just got to get your card and then we'll get going yeah so uh <laughs> david that thanks, just david. adds to the whole thing well <laughs> i think we just came straight out of david's new website yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right you had me dave <laughs> yeah you like, had me i'm like tim i i don't think he's all there no he's like <laughs> i know he's super talented i'm just really confused yeah, with con this rollout i'm confused with this <laughs> launch of the website oh uh, well if you're like and, the rest of uh, us we forgot today was also april 1st so yeah so i got tim pretty good today and uh i lost my bingo card and i can't get another one sent so um it's probably in your junk mail you you um you shouldn't lose they shouldn't be able to be lost because <laughs> Essentially, they just email you something, and uh, uh, so check check in your junk mail, and there is actually no other way to get it than thrown in your email. So I I deeply apologize if if you lost it, but check your junk mail because that's usually where it goes. So uh, the earring is super <laughs> super awesome, <laughs> and uh, if you could actually see what's on this earring, it would make it even better. More so if you could see what's on this there's a lot of things going on yeah. in that vest over there yeah what i just that? got his wife's vest <laughs> yeah it says dana awesome nice Fly and alive fishing. yeah i got i got the girls to make this up for me so i'm pretty proud of it yeah, um pretty good. they did a pretty uh sweet job so that looks uh, like macho man randy savage it's pretty much it <laughs> who said that <laughs> yeah Damn. david Oh, uh, look like Jen uh, Lyle's back, and Jen Lyle Jen. missed the intro. Oh, so, man. But Gotta rewatch that one. She went and they uh, got a puppy. They got a you new got a puppy? Yeah. And I just saw the photo on Instagram while looking for people wearing their 80s oh, costumes. Look at this now. And that thing was absolutely beautiful. So, I'm super pumped for them. 
crazy. And uh, yeah, so oh, look at that. what else do we got? So cute. Hey, fishing licenses are due today, folks. If you're yeah. in the Alberta area, today is hopefully you didn't fish without them. I need to write that down on my hand. May or may not have uh, participated in events on the water with <laughs> with with uh, with the uh, knowledge of forgetting to. Um, you know, renew it. So now I just got the auto renew function and, yeah, uh, that's and that's how it goes. Key. Okay, use a different email account to get a second card. They won't issue a second card of the same email. One and done. Yes, just like Mr. Joel House said, that is a fact. And so I'm going to just check and to see um, what we got left, how many bingo cards are left because because I can do that. I can mm. check that out see how many bingo cards so yeah there's still a hundred bingo cards left uh lots of bingo cards lots have gone out but there's still a lot left so feel free guys uh if you need to enter another email but uh your junk mail <laughs> is where your bingo card should be you should not have lost it so uh raymond you lucky man all free right. fishing license and retired just turned 65 Ooh. and retired in march well, Jim Crawford's been fishing for free for 23 years. <laughs> 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 I really like this new beer. Like, yeah, I'm liking even it. Even more so, guys. If you have not, David, David, when you come up here, we're gonna have an absolute riot. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna. Maybe too it's much gonna fun. be. It's gonna be a good time. But there's a place called Cold Cold Garden, and I went there for the first time last night, and it was as eclectic as the inside of my brain is. And I thought, hey, I. I literally was like, if this is what the inside of my mind, if I could pull it out and throw it on a wall, that's what that brewery looked like. So uh, I do really like that. So drunk mail or drunk mail. Well, Cam, that's up to you. Okay, good. Roger Beatty's back in the game. So um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do next? I thought I had something planned here. Yeah. Well, and uh, I'm just trying to. I'm I'd just, like to see you button that up. Oh, I could button it up. Could you? Oh man, yeah. more than one button? Yeah. So you guys remember 115 shares and Tim <laughs> chugs a beer. You guys failed last week, I planned for you to no, fail they, again. They did, they got her oh, done and you guys did. Chugged. Yeah. Well obviously you won because I don't remember it happening. <laughs> <laughs> you were drunker than a $3 oh, bill. I can't mix the wine with the beer. That's yeah. what I learned last week. If You gotta learn every day folks and if you don't, you guys, if a button flies off and uh, hits the camera <laughs> and the show ends, it's not my fault. Uh, okay, so the next fly that we're going to tie is a March brown in April. Yes. Ooh. Shoot. Oh, you did it again. I know. That's I know. A couple weeks in a row. He's just yeah. here, spilling beer everywhere. Okay, folks. So this is a great time <laughs> to throw the show <laughs> Over to my friend Tim, oh, this is a and he's job. gonna tell you about the April Fool's joke. That okay, I, yeah, yeah, this is a great story. So it's these glasses. I cannot see you can't anything. See anything. <laughs> it's all for the love of the your, show. I can't see your eyes. So April Fools, right? Yeah. Hey, that's not six feet. Get over there. I uh, yeah. So April Fools. Yeah, didn't didn't even didn't even cross my mind. So a little bit of back history. I just got off work. Two days on the ambulance. Crazy. Very little sleep. I was running on fumes this morning, but I was positive. Like, I'm so excited. It's Thursday. I just got to get through today. Gonna have a great sleep tonight. You know, just all these things. But today I'm going to pick up my boat. Now I've been working and, and trying to figure, <laughs> figure out how to get my boat back. I'm from the States for quite a, if you could see what I can see right now, you might just see what I can see right now. <laughs> That's a moose knuckle on steroids. <clears throat> yes. So what happened? Well, this is this is Dana. So he, he decided that a good friend makes uh, his good friend's day even better or worse. So with in mind that I'm trying to get this boat today, going down to Calgary, is, got across the border. It was April Fools. <laughs> I didn't realize that. You'd be on high alert. So I get this text message from the friend who is helping me get my boat back up here through this courier service. And he said, Tim, <laughs> <laughs> we've got uh, we've got a problem. I'm like, well, what what do you mean? He's like, no. He asked me, have you have you headed to get your boat yet? And I'm like, actually not yet, but I'm I'm gonna head soon. I'm super pumped. And he's like, ah, just hang tight. And then he leaves me for a minute, just with the hang tight. Then he comes back and says, there's some issues with the paperwork when it crossed the border. And unfortunately, <laughs> and unfortunately, 
Um, I'm on the phone with customs right now. I'm trying to figure this out, and I don't know what's gonna happen. They're just, they're, they're, they want the, they want the, uh, they want, they want the boat to come back to the border. So I'm like, I'm playing it cool though, because this buddy, I know he's a good dude. He's gonna figure this out for me. Like I just had full faith. So I called Dana. I'm like, Dana, this is what's going on. I'm ready to kind of like feel really frustrated, but I'm just gonna let this, I'm just gonna let this play out. I know Brett's got my back. He's gonna figure this out for me. Little did I know that at that same time, Dana's disappointed because this is a, something he's set in motion and I wasn't getting mad enough. So no, then he sends, so he sends said, a message over to, to my friend Brett and says, you gotta ramp this up. So then Brett says to me, dude, it's not looking good. Like customs is saying they want the boat to come back down to the border and get quarantined. Like I yeah. would believe this statement. Quarantined for seven days before they can come back up. So now I'm actually losing it. Like I went from okay to like I'm ready to punch a bunny in the face. A bunny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a bunny. And yeah, so I, I'm like I, ready I to said, lose dude, it. I said, dude, he's not mad enough. You got to ramp this up. Uh, like get get that bow back down to the border for good. It was zero to hero. Until I get mine. And I'm, but I'm in the car with, with Ren, my daughter, and, and Dana's on speakerphone. And I'm really she's trying to. She's getting more yeah, mad. Yeah, she's like, dad. You just, you just tell them that you just go down there and get it and bring it home. And that's that. And she's telling us how it is. Well, Dana said, well, Ren, do you know what day it is today? And I'm like. Yep. And Tim's I'm all like, fan of Thursday Night yeah, Live. Like, so, of course, Ren, it's. I'm like, Ren, it's, come on. You know, it's, it's, it's like, it's school. It's the best yeah. day of the week. It's best day of the week? No, it's Thursday Night Live. And he's like, uh, what day of the month is it? I'm just like, what does the day of the month have anything yep, to do with all Thursday? All of a sudden, she went quiet. Everything. And then I figured it out. And so, that's what good friends are for. That's what, yeah. So pricks. What absolute <laughs> pricks. <laughs> I, you might have seen my uh, short shorts come into the scene over there, or you might not have. As uh, well, folks, when you spill a beer on this side of things, it's it's not good because <laughs> that's where the technology there's, is at. There's a lot of uh, things that can go wrong over here, but we're still here. You're still here. We're gonna play. Let's play some bingo. I think we should. Let's play. But first, we're gonna check in with our. Sponsors, we're gonna say a quick hi to them, and then we're gonna come back and let's get bingo going. So get out your bingo cards, everybody who has a bingo card. If you don't have a bingo card, you gotta go to flyfishingbowriver.com slash Thursday Night Live, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back. With the amount of time we spend in front of our vices, don't you think you deserve a pair of scissors that can make the cut? Oh, great rotary vices on the market, but only the Norvice spins the hook. It's for this reason that it's been said the Norvice is the most innovative fly tying system on the market. We all deserve the right to stay organized, no matter what or where your space is. Your fly Kia table will turn any space into a well-organized fly tying realm. Own your domain. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, so I can't keep wearing these things as much as I want to. Ah. I can't see anything. So the cool tip, Cody said, type MFBC in your browser history, and uh, hopefully that's your bingo card. <laughs> uh, hopefully that's don't your. Don't show it to your wife. Hopefully that's your bingo card in your browser history. So <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and start up the bingo cam. It's a new one. Here we go. Uh, let's go all four <laughs> corners. Oh, man. Um, That's right, and buddy. what are we giving away? So we should probably talk <laughs> about that good, first. That's a good idea. Yeah, so Claude got some new shore scissors. Thanks to Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. Says he loves them. Well, I understand the feeling, man. Some of the best scissors out there. What do you got there? Uh, Claude, and you probably got to use his gift card that he won on the show, too. Oh, yes, Claude. Yes, Claude. Okay, folks, this giveaway tonight is... 100 percent well, about 89 <laughs> mother effing bingo card that's exactly MFBC. <laughs> so this one here is going to be 
pretty much a solid giveaway. <laughs> straight, <laughs> straight, straight from our friends. Uh. Well, let's let's throw some more stuff in well, there. I, I was like done, but yeah, I don't see why not. <laughs> David, you can't start yet. Okay, David, what do you need? Who's David? Get your oh, card. Oh, Blackman. Yeah, wait, you can't start He's yet. He's like 0 for 12 right now. Yeah. <laughs> he I needs to win something here I soon. Feel like, I feel like 17 beers deep yeah. here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what's in this giveaway? You asked, you just asked. You didn't even put question, you just all asked. We're Ooh. giving away a pair of the best scissors on the market. Oh, okay. Sure, these are the <laughs> razor straight scissors. Okay, so that's going in the package. And then from our friends that drift out west, we have some stickers that they've graciously given to Ooh. us to give to you. <laughs> we have these beautiful stickers. Okay, so this is all going to come in a package for you guys. Do you know who J-Rock is? You also have... Oh, yes. I see it now. A t-shirt from Drift Out West. So you're going to... You're going to be pimping a shirt. You're going to be pimping, slapping stickers on everything. <laughs> you're going to be cutting your mustache off after tonight. <laughs> Definitely. And then you're going to get a hat from our friends at Drift Out West. So this is a big giveaway, folks, nice. from our friends at Drift Out West. And it's only going to happen if you have a bingo card. And then the next giveaway is a nine foot six weight rod and reel from our friends at Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. And that one Gotta goes that to the one. people. To wear the 80s costumes. Mr. Riley said he's dropped a dropped a photo in your DMs. Oh. I can't, can't wait, to see, wait to see that. I know I can't either. Okay. This is usually when I get into trouble. Because I spill the beer, so I put the beer <laughs> way over there. <laughs> I good think job. this you did well. I think this turned oh, man. off. Send it to me too. Uh oh. I can't wait. This one I gotta see. Ooh. Okay, so everybody's got your bingo cards. James, you got yours. David, you got oh, yeah. yours. Before the night is over, Dana totally has to pull off a Hulk Hogan promo. I would try, but this shirt is like, like elasticy. <laughs> so, uh, Macho <laughs> Man Randy Savage. <laughs> I, I actually saw Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, I didn't see him, but I saw the uh, his uh, figurine at the thrift store today. Well. <laughs> Well, I was trying to scramble uh, last minute. Okay, let's head over to the bingo cam and make sure. Bingo. Oh, yeah. Cam, no one's getting slammed. Oh, today. look at this, folks. Let's go put a pause on the show. It's bingo time, folks. Bingo, bingo, and bingo. I'm your bingo caller. We're looking for four corners. So four corners, folks. Tonight we're playing one bingo game and the giveaway I just went over. So the first call on this bingo game is Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. I'm trying to make sure that we can see all of this in here in this beautiful little <laughs> overlay that I... Maybe it has to go smaller. That's okay, too, because we're allowed to do that. So hopefully you guys are tight and bright tonight just like us. And you got your bingo cards out and your dabbers and your trolls are sitting beside your fly tying table. The next call is, is there any fish in this river? <laughs> and I sometimes ask myself that question. And I le legit ask myself the question. <laughs> yeah, the next call is tip up, tip up. Tip Oftentimes up. when we get uh, gear fishermen on the boat, we got to remind them that you have to put that tip straight up in the air. Give your tippet a little more uh, reason to want to stay on the rig. Yeah. So, Laura, go ahead and send those over to our Fly Fishing Boat River page, which you're watching on right now. You can yeah. send it to the messenger there. The messenger there. Four corners uh, of what? Oh, yeah. Four, Four corners, corners of your card. Four corners of your card. Okay, the next one here is shore fishing. Not the shore SM7B, David, but shore fishing. <laughs> Yes, bingo, you, bingo! You can't, you can't be serious. I Dave. hope you're right, David. I really hope you're right, David. If you got bingo, this is unbelievable. He hit, did he hit it on three or four? Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. you need at least four. So, David, right there, there's, a, you can see on the screen, there's a bingo ID, and an, I need to see that ID, <laughs> and uh, to understand truly 
if you are serious or you're just excited you're playing bingo. Joking, oh, he's joking. Oh, he's a, he's a funny guy. He's so, so funny. funny. David's so funny. Okay. Okay. Oh, for four. I hit on one. Well, that's good enough for bingo for you. Uh, the next call is Rocky Mountain Fly. Oh, nope, sorry, that was the first call. <laughs> Western Canada Fly Fishing Guide School. Speaking of which, we only have one spot left. I think we're waiting to hear from. Yeah, so there might be only one spot left, folks. So if you're wanting to get into that, hey, yeah, now's the yep. time. Reach out. Yep. Strip, 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 and not your clothes. Please do it. Not Please your clothes. It. Yes. Hulk, this Hulk. is rigged. Oh, for four. <laughs> April Fools. There we go. April Fools ends at noon today, folks. Otherwise, yeah. we would have really made lame, funny things happen on this show. Okay. Next one is no fly zone. No fly zone. If you're behind, all the calls are on the screen there, folks. We need four corners for the bingo. Four corners. Rigged, 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 <laughs> rigged, Blake. LDR, the next call is LDR, folks, and that is a long distance release. And I'm telling you what, yesterday we didn't have an LDR. We had an LDR run. It ran and ran and ran. So and then, we're just we're just slowly waiting. We got two. We got a few people with two. Bull trout. Bull trout. Bull trout. And what Tim is a bull trout to Alberta. Well, it is the provincial fish of Alberta. It's in the class of the char family. Yeah. It's uh, very protected, like a I, dolly burden, except it's landlocked. It's yes, it's the western side of the east slopes. Is that confusing you? What I need to say is, if Instagram didn't exist, bull trout wouldn't be cool. Yeah, that's a fact. Okay, next call here is set, 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 Ooh, set, three. set, set the hook. David's 0 for 16. We've only called 10, but hey, he's he's a Jedi. Well, he's the he is the digital Buddha, so yeah, he is way true. far ahead of us. My card is apparently round. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> then I need you to look for just uh, one corner, Terry. Yeah, pick a if corner. If you guys got a round card, just look for one corner. <laughs> SOS, okay. folks. We all know what that means here on Thursday Night Live. That literally stops the fly time. And we get to you guys, and we slow things down, we get you caught up. Usually that happens when good buddy Cam, not top fan Cam, but Different Cam, one. same guy. He just head. Okay, Darren's got nothing, Jeff's got two for four. We got it, we got you guys are gonna we're gonna have a close call. We do have tiebreakers here if we have multiple people that win. Justin Fisher. Justin Fisher, Justin, welcome to Guide School. Buddy. Justin Fisher, yeah, what's up, Justin? sign up for Guide School. To That's going to be a cranking good time, folks. Yeah. So, uh, Bob, you do get a participation award, and we will send you a <laughs> it in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send you an envelope full of great participation prizes. Uh, Steve, don't go for beer yet. 13, you farmed him. Where did my fish go? How did he get away? Clearly we say, you farmed him. And it is rigged. It is fly fishing rigged. Poor Dave. He's just like really struggling. I don't game. even think he has a bingo card. I think he's <laughs> just... Not. I think he's just here for the comments, folks. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, the four corners is obviously a lot harder than the straight line. Can you change it? Oh, Trevor Montgomery, folks. Bingo. Trevor Montgomery said bingo. So, Trevor, shoot us your... ID, your bingo card. <laughs> Trevor. ID, and let's see what you see got. See what you got. Can we win if we fill everything but the corners? <laughs> that is a, a good very question. good question. Very good question. The answer is no. Okay, yeah, I do have David figured out. <laughs> yep, he is calling from the cheap seat. So, uh, all right, Trevor, we just need to know what that code is top corner the ID code and we will verify that you win. Finally, every comment but the one we need. There it is, 090. Let's take a peek Alright, so it's about right here. What is it, Tim? It is 090. Number 90. Oh, there it is, folks. There it is, All folks. four corners. All four. All four corners. Trevor Montgomery nice work, buddy. is the winner. So, Trevor, shoot us an email at t at at <laughs> shoot yeah. us an email <laughs> tnl at flyfishingbowriver.com. 
and we will send this package out to you. Thanks to Drift Out West Fly Fishing, Quinn Sunias, yeah, for thanks, supplying Quinn. that awesome gift of a shirt, a hat, and a bunch of cool stickers. And ultimately, adding on to that package, our friends at Shore Fishing Products. They threw in their scissors. You guys love my... We, I'll give this away. If you guys want, we'll <laughs> raffle this off. We will raffle this off. So that's kind of how the uh, bingo works. So we play bingo every week, folks. Yep. Make sure you get your bingo cards. And ultimately, at the end of the season, what you're going to want to do is get in on the heavy, heavy raffle because yep. there is a lot of stuff this year. Okay, if, if last year was a lot of stuff, this year's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. 20... Uh, how do you explain a little bit about it though? Like how how do yeah, you blend it? Yeah, well I'll do that since <laughs> since uh, we'll just get our '80s beats back on the radio here. We'll get some atmosphere going. We'll get you guys doing fun things like this. So what happens? The things that Tim's talking about is the final night raffle, and we might have to push the final night. Um, at the way it lines up, the final night right now would be the Thursday before. Uh, the last weekend of guide school. Okay, guys, there's only one spot left in guide school. Why don't you sign up? Why don't you come hang out hang out with us for six awesome days, learn how to row boat, learn how to fish better, learn how to treat people better, learn the insides of the industry, and ultimately have the time of your life. Um, I'm super excited. I believe that's in three weeks-ish, something. It's coming up yeah, real fast. Wow. Um, so what is the final uh, episode, episode 20? We call it the F Lucky Fly Box giveaway. Ooh. And so what it is, is it's just all based on if you want to donate to the show. So a $5 donation gets your name into, and we got an app now, because last year we literally printed them off and cut them all up. And Janine had to draw them out of a bowl. So <laughs> this awesome. year I've figured out a program. And when you sign up or when you donate, you get your name thrown in there and then it just randomly picks people. So every entry, every $5 you donate to the show gets you an entry into this giveaway. So if you donate $100, well, that's 20 entries, right? Did, <laughs> yeah. did I check I my math like, here? Uh, yes, you're right. Okay, so um, we've probably got 40 dozen flies. Am yeah, I off by? I don't no. think I'm off by saying that. There's a lot of flies. All of the flies. So this this season we've tied 40 patterns, and so before Tim comes on the camera and shows you guys how to tie, he ties five or six or seven or eight, um, just just getting it right, and those all go in another fly box. So we have that entire fly box. Right now we've got a a couple a couple rods, a couple of really great rods. Yeah, really good rods. Yeah. Um, something else we're working on. Um, we got this epoxy river inlay uh, set up to mount a Norvice. Maybe we could convince Inside. someone to put that Norvice on there. Yeah, we're working on getting a Norvice for you guys. Okay, we've talked to our friends that sponsored the show. They've got more stuff coming for you guys. That was uh, Corey and Juanita. Mm -hmm. They built that and it's absolutely epic. It's like the the freestone pebbles in there there's they've put flies in there it's epoxied uh works perfect for a norvice and uh um uh, we're gonna mount one tonight and show you that so we've got 25 dozen streamers we've got like five or six or seven or eight dozen dry flies we've got all the flies that we tied this year we've got a couple rods we've got uh we got more stuff we've got We've got a couple of float trips on the Bow River that we're also giving away yeah. there too. So there's that. Those are huge. Um, yeah. So this we just keep adding to this every week. Uh, Tim keeps cranking out flies. We just keep we just keep adding, folks. So at the end of the year, I know last year was was a really good response to that, and all we really had to give away was uh, well, Carl won a, a fly rod that he never got. Someone else picked <laughs> it up at the at the brewery. So oh, that's wonderful. Uh, but he was a year late <laughs> asking for it. So, um, yeah, we got a, we got lots of stuff, lots of stuff tonight. So you can also win tonight um, this nine foot six weight fly rod that we're giving away. You just got to dress up and look stupid like us and you can win. So that's kind of how this works. And what we need to do now is jump into the 
second pattern of the night, which is a March brown dry yeah. fly. So, Tim, Hurrah. I think I told everybody enough what it is. <laughs> when does the raffle will open? Um, two weeks before. So, episode 19 will happen. And then the next Thursday, it won't be an episode. We'll probably come live and talk about the raffle and do some stuff. And then, so basically episode 19 and then it'll be two weeks that the raffle will be open and then we'll close at about halfway through the show on episode 20 um it's just logistically we're just trying to keep track of it all because last year was (laughs) a lot of work so other thing i want to say is the pre-order of the sun shirts that we did last week folks we got a hundred and thirty sun shirts coming um, because you guys absolutely cranked on it so we appreciate that we're super excited to get those in um their orders in they're getting made as we speak so hopefully those come sooner than later and we get those shipped out to you guys along with a lot of you guys ordered stickers so that's super cool too but yeah now we're gonna tie some flies and uh, i'm done chatting with you i'm gonna crank open another cold beer and and answer your question so uh here's timothy hepworth slash what was your name j-rock no what was your and, and hey, send your photos in to me. I'll check them out right now. Okay, here you go, Tim. All right. Okay, guys. So that's let's still do the this. brassy. We already tied that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll get changed here in a moment. Oh, it's Gilligan. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta switch things up a little bit. Sometimes. Gilligan. It's Gilligan. It's Gilligan. Okay, so guys, this next fly, <laughs> I gotta find where I put it on my table so I can show you. There it is. So All right, here- Eric's gotta get to bed. He keeps piecing out halfway through the show, Eric. You gotta, you gotta start working. It's Good Friday tomorrow, folks. Yeah, it is Good Nobody Friday. Nobody should tomorrow. have to get up early. Oh, look at that beauty tie. Ooh yeah. Oh baby. So what we are tying tonight, folks? We are tying this March Brown. Um, T fly. <laughs> David named you T <laughs> fly. <laughs> All right, I like it. I run with it. So this little beauty, we're we're tying this in in a size 14. So it's not super big. You can see we've got a wing tied into our hackle. Um, and we're going to be tying that out with some mallard flank tonight. Um, if you were to really get super specific and you wanted to go crazy and you had some really amazing feathers, we'd be tying that with uh, a, a lemon colored wood duck. But those are about as hard to find as you can imagine. So <clears throat> this, these work pretty good and they still look quite good at the end. So what's this meant to imitate? Well, this is a mayfly imitation. Um, this, is, this would be a very similar pattern to a Adams or a parachute Adams. It's just that we're not tying it as a parachute, we're tying it as, uh, as a traditional dry fly wing, not as an emerger. And we're using a bit of a buggier dubbing tonight, so it's, uh, it's, a hair, it's a hairsier dubbing instead of using a dry fly dubbing. So it just gives this a little bit more um, buggy. Did you get a bowl of soup with that hat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, anyways. So that's kind of what we're working with here, guys. That's what we're going to tie tonight. So if you've got the package um, that, that from us, we'll, we'll walk through those materials um, for those of you who don't, and just so that you have an idea what we're gonna be tying with. So like I previously stated, we're gonna be using a mallard flank feather, like so. That's what we're gonna tie our wing out of. We are then going to use <clears throat> a two different dry fly hackles. So we need to use a, um, a brown one and a grizzly or a ginger and grizzly, something like that. Um, we're just looking for a contrast in color from the, the grizzly to um, having as well a, a little bit more of a brown shade of color going into it. Then we've got some um, kind of Adam's gray colored hairs here. This is oh, pretty, is that cake face? This is pretty, what? Your, your new drink you tried, cake face. Oh yeah, is this a new one? Yeah. Oh, I was like, oh, I thought it was really good. Cake face. Yeah, it says right on it that it has uh, vanilla beans resulting in a flavor reminiscent to a birthday cake. Uh, something. Are the baking cam pastries included if you win a guided trip in the raffer? Well, there's something better in that that we haven't yeah, showed yet. Yeah, we haven't showed yet. The chocolate today. croissant. Yes, the chocolate croissant. Um, and then, guys, for the tail feathers, we're just going to use... I'll show you this here. Um, we're just using kind of basically the crummier feather that comes off of a, a cape of some kind. It doesn't have to be grizzly. But I like the grizzly. It just gives a little bit more, um, you know, variety in the in the color variations in the tail. And we're going to use a few fibers off of that. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to get our size 14 dry fly, standard dry fly hook, secured in our vise, like so. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and use my um, my 12 watt black nano again here. Now we're going to start this thread a couple of eye lengths behind the eye, roughly a third of the way back. Let's get that on there. We can trim out the thread. Now, guys, this is a smaller this is a smaller hook. Okay, so it. Uh, ooh, look at that. So it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit harder um, to work with when you're tying a dry fly. The smaller the dry fly, the more difficult it becomes. So just be patient with yourself and take each step as it comes. Don't overdo it. If you need to go back and change something, um, just remember if we put a half hitch in to save our work, we can't go back beyond that. So the first thing we're going to tie in here is we're going to tie in our tail fibers. So we want to take um, off of that little um, piece of hackle, but it's going to be significantly larger than the other two hackle that you have in there. So you'll definitely build a little difference. Um, this guy here, we're going to take off, we're going to say roughly somewhere between eight and a dozen of those fibers. So I'm just going to separate the fibers off, hold them so hopefully the tips stay fairly aligned. And that's what it's going to give us there. Okay. So in measuring this, I want this tail to be equal in length to the overall length of the hook. So if, you, if you've ever seen mayflies, you know their tails stick out quite a ways um, behind their body. So we want a full length of the overall hook is what we're going to then transfer to the back. Um, so I'm going to take my thread quickly back to the top of the bend, but not into the bend. If we go over into the bend, we're, we're going to lose that tail being able to sit up where we want it to. Okay. So again, just measuring it off the hook. That's roughly a hook in length. I'm going to switch hands and I'm going to um, over to this hand and I'm just going to take a collecting wrap and I'm going to get that secure. I'm still holding on to it just until I get it secured right on top of the hook shank where I want it to be. Remembering not to go down into that bend. And then I'll wrap forward just a little bit before I go ahead in and I will trim out those butts. Just like so. And what I like to do is I'm gonna move forward, lay one little thread wrap down up to where I started my thread. I'm gonna work my way back one more time. And don't worry about creating bolt because we're gonna do that with the dubbing we put on anyways. Now I like to lift up that tail. Okay, just get a good good look at it. And I'm going to put a couple of thread wraps underneath the tail, which is going to help support that tail to stay um, vertical and not get uh, pinched down. So all I've done is taken thread wrap underneath the tail. And as I pull my thread up, you can see it kind of pulls that tail upwards and holds it where it should be. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to bring our thread forward and we're looking for about the one third mark back from the eye. So if I could break this fly, or this overall hook into it into thirds we want to be roughly a third that's also going to equal about two eye lengths behind the eye and that's where we're going to tie in our wing material okay and that's going to be that mallard flank um, we want a little bit of, a little bit of space in front of the wing because in front of the wing we're also going to be wrapping some of that hackle so we need to have uh, some equal space on either side so what i'm going to do is depending on how much um, material or uh, all you have of this feather i'm going to pull out some of the bottom parts because i don't i don't need that much of the feather i need just roughly like that, you know, little chunk. Ideally, if you're looking for a feather to do this with, you would you would pull it forward and try to make sure that those tips look fairly even. This is actually a gorgeous feather for doing this one with. For a mallard plank, they don't get much better than this. Um, comes forward, the tips are quite even. I got a nice even speckle up the wing. Looks quite realistic, okay? So <clears throat> what I like to do is I like to take it, and I just like to spin it, okay? Spin it in my fingers, so it kind of almost cords it up it really really causes those fibers to lay flat and basically extend forward as far as they're going to extend okay now i need to measure this as well and i want this to be again the full length of the hook but i'm going to measure it with my other hand this time just to orient it in the direction that i want it to be when i tie it in okay so i'm going to come in here and measure that wing so that it's equal to the overall length of the hook shank itself and that's how we always measure when we're tying in these wings. Even if we're doing it with deer hair or other materials, we're always gonna measure it off the back bend of the hook to the front of the eye. And once I have that, that length represented, I'm gonna tie it in where my thread is right now, okay? So I'm gonna lay that down, keeping my finger right where it should be. And I'm going to do that gathering wrap I showed you before. So I'm gonna do my, for me, it's a, a clockwise spin. If you're right-handed, it'd be a counterclockwise. I'm gonna do a nice pinch wrap right down there. Take a couple more wraps to secure it. I'm going to take some wraps rearward now, okay? And these are nice tight wraps, okay? Because I'm really wanting to bind that down. And now I want to come and I want to cut this off at an angle. So I'm creating a bit of a taper of the material. 
like so. Okay. And now that I have it there, I'm just going to lay a couple thread wraps back down. And now you can see I've almost created that perfect profile. See it against my hand. Because... Looks like Jim just joined. Oh, and, Jim's uh, in the house. Jim, we already sang you happy birthday <laughs> on your 97th. And uh, maybe your Jim, let us know. Did you catch our birthday wishes yeah, to you before? Because that's so. pretty important that we wish you happy birthday. It here. was. Huge happy birthday to you, my friend. So I'm going to bring my thread up to that one third mark where I tied in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull those fibers back out of the way and try to get all of them if you can. And now I'm, we're going to call this a thread dam. I'm going to throw some thread wraps up underneath that wing I put in there. And that's basically just going to perch it up nice. Take a few wraps forward to the eye and then come back. It's just creating a little bit of a ramp and some wedge wraps into it. So now you can see it's not it's not standing perfectly straight up, but it's it's got some vertical appearance to it now, which is what we're what we're working on. We needed vertical, folks. We needed vertical. I'm gonna take That's a, a nice tip, Tim. Vertical. Keep it vertical. Tim is like a surgeon making these flies. Ooh, ooh. Don't put that kind of uh, pressure on me. Okay, guys. So okay, now... so Jim just got here. So oh, what yeah. we need to do because he just got here and we wasted our new happy birthday song on nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys just, your threads are good. Cam probably broke his, but we're going to jump back in here to this. You guys like my new sticker? Well, oh. people catch fish. Yeah. I like it. They're not part of the glasses, folks. That is a sticker that I added. So <laughs> I don't really know how to do this other than to start with something like this and say. Every single time. That one. your birthday so let me <laughs> happy, happy birthday. birthday happy birthday Jim yes 87 years old is what I heard 87 87 birthday to yeah. you I'm gonna have to re-render this birthday Song. Uh, uh, we, we're trying uh, our best, Jim. Did you scratch my CD again? Tim, so or so, Jim. If you just send us in a photo of what you're wearing for your birthday, you're probably gonna win the best <laughs> '80s costume. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Well, guys, where we left you off on this fly, we were working on this wing. So we separated it. You can see there, we took it, um, put a couple of wraps between it, did a couple of wraps in figure eights. Um, the one thing I do want to do, because I, I don't want them to be splayed like that, I want the wings to appear um, more together. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to take each individual wing and I'm going to go just around the wing itself a couple times, okay? And I kind of got to hold the wing when I do this. It's going to want to move on you a bit. But, so I'll go around just the wing and then I'll put a wrap around the hook and that saves the work, okay? So you can see there that took that one wing and it made it actually a lot more um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? By itself, solidarity. Tim, that's, pull it together, oh, okay? Man. It just this is tough. It's, it's just it's, nothing. It's, oh geez. So I'm gonna do it on the other one now. I'm gonna go around. Maybe it's the creepy bunny behind you. Maybe it is that bunny, the Halloween bunny. There. And so like I like to push them back up and kind of get them quite vertical. Now, as you know me, I like to, well, I don't even call it cheating because I just think it's a smart thing to do. Once I have them where I want them, man, it's like a voice crack from the 80s. I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of UV um, resin, and this is just gonna be some um, bone dry. And I'm gonna come in here between them and just lay a little bit of resin between the feathers, kind of right up on the posts. And what now when I cure that, it's just not gonna allow them to move anymore. Um, and it keeps them right where I want, and that also helps when I'm going through and wrapping that hackle through because it's not allowing my poor movement of that hackle to affect what's going on with those wings either. Okay, so I did that little bit of cure. That's what I like to do. As you can see now, um, they're, they're quite nice. They're separated. Now I'm going to take my thread rearward. I'm going to take it right back down to the base of that tail, and we're going to start putting in our dubbing. I'm going to cord up my thread. All that means is I'm just wrapping it or spinning it so it cords up and get, gets nice and tight, nice and tight. Then I'm gonna come in here and grab some of this dubbing, okay guys? And we don't wanna overdo it, put on less. You can always add more and you can wrap back over your own wraps. Um, we just don't wanna make a crazy, crazy bulky fly. We do want it to have some bulk to it, 
but it's actually really easy to overdo it with this um, rabbit fur dubbing just because it has a lot of bulk to it already. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a nice short little dubbing noodle. Again, remember guys, we're moving those fingers in one direction, not going back and forth like a mini violin, okay? And once I got that there- You um, okay if I do this best? Cause I can't breathe. Yeah, I mean that corset looks great, but let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's let those babies roam. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. go, there we go. Okay guys, I'm just gonna take one full wrap, make sure I'm not putting pressure on that tail fibers, but make get a nice full wrap before I start going forward, okay? Now, as I go forward, I might need to pull that dubbing a little tighter. I might need to wrap back over the work that I've already done, just so I can create that bulk that we're talking about. Um, but we want it to start a little smaller in the back end and, and get a little bit bigger as we move forward. You can see there's lots of this little, those little buggy fibers sticking out, and that's just the nature of, um, of this specific dubbing. So if I have any that are just really crazy long, I like to trim them out. I'm gonna add a little bit more dubbing to this because I want to take it up. I need to leave some space um, behind those wings because I'm gonna start my hackle there and do a couple wraps. Um, but I don't want to get, I don't want to stop too far back, okay? I'm gonna advance that up a little bit, put in this dubbing, wrap forward. And one more good wrap there. I'm gonna pull that last little bit out. I don't need quite that much. And I'm pretty happy with that rig right there, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do from this point is I'm gonna start prepping my hackle fibers, or my hackle feathers. John Miller, that was just, uh, we, you know, it's like a litmus test, trying to see who the real fans are. Yeah, who's gonna stick around? Who's gonna stick around and support us when, we're, when everything fails? So when we're preparing these hackle fibers, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna strip out a few feathers off, or the few fibers of the feather off the bottom. And now you're going to be able to see that there's an underside. So we've talked about this lots before. The dull side is the underside and the shiny side is the top side. Now I want to point the dull side back towards the rear end of the fly. Now I like to, it's just, it's kind of my personal preference, but I like to lay that stem right between the wings. And I'm only going to, only going to leave just a little tiny piece of bare stem on this side of them to get that first kind of wrap initiated. So I'm going to lock that in. And now why I like to do it kind of like that is I, I, then I can come in front of the wing and I can lock that stem down and then if I have any stem overhanging like you can see there, I'm just going to come in there and trim it out. Okay? And then I'm going to go rearward again. I'm going to come back to where I tied in that one and I'm going to tie in my second one. So we have our grizzly and we have our brown. So I like to do, I like to um, tie the brown one in first because what that means is I'm going to bring the brown one um, second when I wrap it forward. I like the grizzly to go first. So, I am going to do this guy here. I'm gonna peel a few of the fibers again off the bottom. And again, the, the dull or the underside is gonna to face towards the rear of the fly. I'm gonna lay it in just like I did the last one. Tie that in, gather that stem on the front side. I don't even have to trim that one, that one's pretty perfect. Now I'm just gonna take a quick little half hitch to save that so that those stems aren't gonna go anywhere. Now guys, we're pretty much done, okay? We're uh, done all the hard work now. Now we just gotta wrap. I'm gonna start by taking um, that grizzly hackle. I'm gonna make one complete wrap right where it is before I move forward. And I'm looking at two to three wraps behind those wings. So that's two, I'll go three. And I'm gonna do, again, two to three in front. This is going to be a, just a two. Okay, and I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to pass that under. I'm going to tie that off right there. Perfect, and really make sure that that's tied in because you do not want to lose that. If that comes out, you've are, you are going to lose that entire feather. Okay, and I'm going to go in there and trim that out just to keep get it out of the way. Just make sure you don't cut too many of those extra little fibers. And now I'm gonna take my second feather, which is my brown one, and I'm just gonna do the exact same amount of wraps. So I want two to three in the back and probably two in the front. And I'm just gonna weave it through uh, the grizzly. And all this is gonna do is gonna add a little extra color. Gonna add a little bit of brown. And I'll come, and you can pull those wings back. Make sure you get a wrap right in front of them. Two happy with that. So I'm going to tie that guy off. 
So a couple wraps behind, a couple wraps in front, and repeat. Now that I got all that out of the way, um, how I like to finish off this fly is I'm not going to whip finish on this one. And you can see that I have some of those, uh, the fibers off of that feather kind of pointing forward. And I don't like to waste them, I don't want to trim them out. So how can I still use them? Well, I'm going to take my half hitch tool, okay? So in this case, you could take on my shore uh, whip finish here, I've got that hollow end, which will work just perfectly. Or even, um, I have that here somewhere. Oh yeah, that most ends of bodkins also have that hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use the bodkin this time. I'm going to place my bodkin on my thread. I'm going to wrap around it once, twice. I'm going to tip it forward and I'm going to force those fibers rearward with that little hollow end and then allow those thread wraps to pull off of it. And now you can see I've actually been able to pull those back and use them instead of wasting them. Okay, I'll do it one more time. One, two, come in uh -oh, here. Uh-oh, Chaz is here. Chaz, Chaz, what's up, buddy? Don't worry, Chaz, you missed a lot of crashing. Yeah, came at a good time. Okay. I'm gonna trim my thread out. And all I gotta do now, guys, is go in and trim this last little brown hackle fiber and we are done. Just like that, folks. There is your March Brown. And if I there take it is. out of the vise and show you from the front, you can see your wings are prominent. They're separated. You got a nice side profile. There's your tail hanging out the back end. There Just it is. A great fly. Super good fly. Don't be afraid to tie it a little bigger. I, pro I personally wouldn't go much smaller. Um, but yeah, you can see right there, just like that. And if you tied that thing in green, folks. You might just catch something. You might just have yourself a green drake. Green drake. So yeah, there I am trying to go through all these. Uh... Going through some photos without me? Yeah. Oh man. But the, the other part of this, <laughs> April Fools, whoever is playing the game on us. <laughs> is the fact so Chaz there's two parts to this show tonight which probably tomorrow night I will stitch them together and make them one show oh. uh, but until then <laughs> I can't even get into the messenger for our Facebook page it just sits here and loads the wheel of death so I'm trying death. to find everybody <laughs> that sent the photos in to that side of things because we've got some really awesome photos coming in through the other channels, but that is what we're seeing is the circle of death. Who doesn't love the circle of death? Yeah. So, well, folks, this has been one of those nights that... Uh, it doesn't all go easily. It doesn't all go perfect. No. And, not well, always. like we said many times, we're not perfect and we're far from it. And we're just doing our best to just... Sometimes hang in there. And the uh, April, I think it's an April Fool's joke is actually yeah, what it is. I think they're so. playing one on us. I would agree. Uh, Tim was trying to show us his <laughs> nipple. Yeah, so we probably got blocked from Facebook and YouTube <laughs> because we had some uh, nipple that was Tim. Tim, where did you show? Look at what's on your right arm. My right arm? What? Is that a tattoo up your arm? Oh no, that's my reminder. Oh, fishing license. Fishing license. <laughs> <laughs> Big and red. Yeah. I'm going fishing tomorrow. And I don't want to get caught. Yeah, we're going fishing. He, that's a pun. That was a punny pun pun. Punty pun pun. So yeah, folks, that's kind of how Thursday Night Live rolls. And sometimes it's a square wheel that trunk clunks down the road. But most part, uh, we just have fun. We tied a couple flies. There's two parts. We're going to try to stitch them together so that... You guys can only watch one part and enjoy oh, yeah. the whole thing seamlessly, but I apologize. <laughs> I cannot get into, like, literally it's doing this. If you can see, yes, it's yes, nothing. nothing. It's doing nothing. So I'm unable to get in. I don't want to jump into the browser on here because good chance the all things will go downhill. Oh, yes. Super. That's awesome, quick. Jeff. I like it. He's just said that he's always been intimidated about tying dries, but he found that one to be pretty good and, and made fairly easy. That's good, man. That's I I was the same way for so long. I just I didn't tie dry flies because they literally scared me. I was like, I don't want to ruin good dry fly hackle. I don't want to waste money on them. But when you break them down, they're really not that difficult. Some some tying videos definitely make them seem like they're out of your league, but they're honestly very doable flies. Yeah. Keep it up, man. Just keep practicing. That's all it takes. Yeah, yeah. It's it. They are 
pretty simple. They're smaller, and so it's more intricate and mm-hmm. kind of like catching materials in there. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, I guess we're getting back to Doug's joke of the night. And oh. what does every angler want? Doug, please tell us. Oh. Because Mark also asks, what does every girlfriend want? And well, <laughs> they might be uh, different. We're, we're not answered, sure to get hooked. Already, if you look up a little bit, I think he answered it. Doug answered. Here. Oh, a girlfriend. <laughs> what? I don't get it. Doug, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is this where uh, we uh, we laugh or we cheer you on? Yeah. <laughs> or we're not sure, Doug. Please, I don't get it, man. Please Sorry. tell me, Doug. What do we do? Wow. What wow. a joke that was. Yeah. yeah. That was good. So, Very good. what does every girlfriend want? Every girlfriend wants uh, more time, more with, time their with their angler, angler boyfriend. <laughs> well, I don't know if these are jokes, statements, or questions. <laughs> But what I'm trying to do, folks, is get you guys into this thing that we call showing you the photos of all these good things of of what I can see for people <laughs> <laughs> that are quite literally. Uh, so if we crash again, it's been a slice, but I, I don't think we will. I think we're I think I got us pretty stable here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this up. Something like this. We got. We're getting to see a lot of. Oh, lots of Tim. A lot of Tim. Hey, this is me, Tim, and I. And I would try the new feature here, which is essentially uh, the ability to do that without showing up on screen. But hey, nothing's working quite as it should tonight, <laughs> and so we're simple. just gonna kind of keep that pretty simple. But. Uh, what we need to do is try to review the uh, Tim talk because I'm trying to. <laughs> He's trying to track this down. I'm just reading some comments here. Seems like some people are excited to go out and try their new dry flies they tied tonight. Maybe tomorrow even. Yeah. Well, yeah. Where, are you, where are you going? Where are you going, Chris? You going on the bow or where are you? I think I ended this at? one. I want to know where dry flies are. Yeah, right I would now, love so. to know where the dry flies are working. I'm gonna okay, go there. so it doesn't. It also doesn't want to show us this part of this thing. So, how do you do this, Dana? That's a million dollar question. <laughs> okay, folks. So this is archaic, and I pride myself in uh, one day being able to show you guys how to. <laughs> oh yeah, it's because I got to turn on the Wi-Fi. There we go. Hang oh, on, hang tight. Go. I'm gonna He's make gonna this happen. Out. Yeah. You can do this. Yes, that's. There yeah. it is. So let's just. Let's just change this, <laughs> folks. <coughs> We're going to show you some of the photos that have come in. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. Nice. All right. So there's there's one of them. That one's pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> I love it. That one's yeah, pretty awesome. And there oh, we go. Oh, boy. Yeah. I, there it is. I know. I well how, done. How does that well not win? Well done. I don't know. That, that is, mullet? Look yeah, at that thing. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. I even want to run my hands through that. Yeah, well, <laughs> you can run your hands through oh. my mullet later. Uh, so what's cool about this is that mullet was cut just for the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's I amazing. Well done, Jade. I can't stop. Well done, Jade. I can't stop. A flock All right. of seagulls. Oh, yeah. We got this, this one here, folks. That Nicely is done. either my grandma's drapes or a beard. <laughs> <laughs> But there we go. We got the Love old the uh, tracksuit yeah. showed up there, track so seat. that's pretty cool too. Well done. Um, there's uh, Adrian, Adrian looking all almost kiss-like. <laughs> the leather. The leather. Yeah. So um, let's see if I can add. Let's see this because I think the next one is a video. Oh. Uh, from Mr. James Riley, oh, Mr. and I Riley. think he was. Oh no, this one isn't yet. It's not oh. yet. So let's just hold nice. tight here. Like the boots. Uh, that's that is that is pretty that is pretty solid. <laughs> I I'm still pretty hung up on the fact that somebody threw a mullet in for this. Yeah, so it's something. Let's see what. I'm the king of rock. There is none higher. Sucker MCs should call me sire. To rule my kingdom, you must use fire. I won't rock until I retire. That's right. Run DMC, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Riley. Riley. Absolutely crushing it. Oh, dude. We might so have to good. try to play that one again. Spitting rise. Right. 
There is none higher. Sucker MCs should call me sire. To rule my kingdom, you must use fire. I won't rock until I retire. Mm. That's right, run DMC, baby. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Oh, yeah, that's oh, good that stuff. Good. So that was well the done, video dude. that I wanted to show you guys. So good. And Yahoo. then the birthday boy dressed up like himself. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> He, oh, look at that. Yeah. Same fly vest he's been wearing. Yeah, Mr. Birthday Boy. Birthday so. Boy. Look there at that. he is, folks. That's Mr. Jim. He's got... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bi bifocals are expensive. You yeah. just got to go with two different Quad, descriptions. <laughs> quadfocals. <laughs> Near and far, uh, Mr. Jim James uh, William what Crawford a, what a legend. is our birthday boy tonight, folks. So, Happy birthday, Jim. Um, yeah, completely uh, sad that uh, all technical things aside... Let me see. I might have one more coming in. <laughs> yeah. So ideally, folks, what we would do here is leave it up to you guys to vote. And I know that there's more. I'm going to make one last final attempt to get into the Facebook Messenger here and see if the, we can pull out a winner. Because what we're giving away here is from our friends at Rocky Mountain Fly Shop is the... Uh, six weight. Six weight. Nine foot six weight. Uh, with a reel, a rod and a reel. So that's a pretty cool giveaway. And so what we do, we're kind of testing out these theme nights uh, so that to see if you guys want to participate. And the more that you guys participate, the more that we will do these theme nights because they are a lot of fun and it gives us something to look forward to along with you guys. And hopefully uh, the show doesn't always crash when we go. But it is April Fool's and it's April 1st and it's uh, some new stuff came out in the program and the software and it's Jim's birthday, so we decided to crank down the system with... I think it's because we did it twice. Yeah, once so would have been okay. pretty much all things crashed on us, but <laughs> I'm giving it a chance here. I cannot get into the... There, I see there's seven messages, folks. Yeah, and, too bad. Uh, yeah, so Chaz, it's not about a number. <laughs> I know. <laughs> three, three, three. He's, he's trying to win here, but... Uh, Mr. James Riley, that was absolutely incredible. Yeah, that was incredible. Um, I can't wait to come down to L.A. and, and yeah. meet you and the Rileys and the whole family. Eat some grits. But I think, I think Tim, what do you think? I think we don't even have to talk, and I think we both kind of know. Yeah. I think we both kind of know what the winner is. Yeah. You agree? I agree. So, folks, tonight for the winner of the 80s theme night, and only because there was an absolute major commitment level to this one. <laughs> I think this one right here, folks. That's the this winner. This one here. <laughs> here. Somewhere over here is the winner. So Well done, guys. If you guys that cut a mullet in tonight and sent it to grits. the... Uh, <laughs> Instagram or Facebook Messenger. I, yeah. I apologize. I literally can't get into them. So I'm looking forward to seeing those after. But so is all's fair and love and war. And there's an Night Live. Disney, Prince, Disney Princess Night will break the internet. Yeah, well, <laughs> we got to make sure that the bandwidth and all of that stuff is cranking good for the Disney Princess Night. But hey, I'm down for yeah. it if we can find one big enough yeah. to uh, fit me into it. <laughs> And Tim, well, and that's just... not too hard. He'll just borrow <laughs> Renz. <laughs> I knew you were going to And as that. always, he is a legend. Uh, and folks, I don't know. But this this has been absolutely fun. We're not done with you guys yet, no. so don't leave yet. The best part of the night. Uh, the best the part of the night is just around the corner. And by corner, I mean in about 27 seconds. So, yeah, this is the 80s night. We thought we'd try something, change up all the overlays, change up the outfits that we showed up in. And hopefully give you guys a chance to dress up with us. And I know that this is all virtual and it would be super awesome if we could do this and hang out together, which yeah. the news in the world up in here in uh, Canada, the hammer and sickle. Doesn't uh, look super good. Yeah, I don't know, folks. I don't want to get into that because it's not making me feel good. So, um, yeah, that was a great costume. Uh, Mr. Riley, we appreciate the run DMC and all yeah, that. Everyone that else, uh, as soon as Instagram messenger pops up or face or Facebook, I'll check those messages and see what we can see. Uh, but so far I can't get in. That's just the life, the way it is. Can we do a Scooby-Doo night? Oh. If you guys have a theme night or something or a suggestion or a question or stuff that you want us to prepare to show you guys on the show, uh, TNL at flyfishingbowriver.com 
and then we can we yeah. can chat about Talk that about stuff on, and Brent's uh, got a pretty good one there too he suggested he'd like to get a little bit of information about reels the drag systems and line selections that yeah kind of thing. so that's a great topic to talk about guys so yeah we talk about it here i've also uh fly fishing academy so if you guys aren't on youtube go go over to our youtube channel uh subscribe to our youtube channel we do uh stuff like that on our youtube channel try to help you guys out there's a ton of stuff on the internet like that but we try to put our spin on it and yeah. um giving you guys something in joining thursday night live that you can Learn a little bit, become better fishermen, become better people, and uh, hopefully catch more fish uh, from some of the patterns that you have tied. So, uh, seeing you in a bathrobe, seeing you in bike <laughs> shorts, not sure if we can handle much more. Um, well, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you guys have Buck tough skin. Buck naked I am. <laughs> Buck naked I am. So, yeah, it's um, that's the 80s night for you. And so, um, Jade... Congrats on that. Yeah. Congrats on the beautiful mullet that you yeah, that shaved was, in. That's great. Um, and let's, let's folks, let's move on to what we have here as mm -hmm. one of our favorite times of the night. Yeah, that's where we give you guys, turn that background music off, give us a little bit of glows. This, this is probably this is, my favorite yeah. overlay this is great. that there is. Uh, the neon lights. Set what we can kind of do here folks is talk about some things that were pretty awesome this week um the news around the globe the canadian globe is not good a lot of uh, other provinces are going down into a full lockdown again yeah i don't know about that it's, uh, uh, it's not ready for that uh, nonsense. super super depressing to read stuff like that so um, we're going to ignore it for now. What we're going to do is we're going to share with you guys uh, some of the wins that we had this week because we feel that uh, through sharing light, we spread light. And the only way to spread light is through spreading light. Yeah. What do I mean by that? I mean, uh, being negative and chopping people down doesn't spread light. So being positive, spreading light, sharing good stuff like we're about to do here, that's the kind of stuff that makes things a little better and a little sweeter in our world. So, uh, Tim, why don't you why don't you go first? Sure, I'll go first. He always likes me to go first. He knows I get mine out of the way. Um, so, guys, well, my week has been has actually been a pretty challenging one. Uh, lots of lots of issues, and we don't. I'm not going to get into specifics, but there's been a lot of um, a lot of big things come up in my family with a couple of my siblings and you know for all intents and purposes their lives falling apart and it's really been a, a challenging week and I've spent probably more time in prayer this week than I have in a long time just just whether you pray to someone or nothing or just I, I don't care but for me that's what brings me comfort and um, you know today we get some great news uh, for my brother he had his kids were in danger with, again without getting specifics but we got some orders in place today um, legally that are keeping safe um, for the next projected period of time and for me knowing that my niece and nephew are are okay and in a, in a good place and a safe place it's it's brought a lot of joy to my day even today was a very stressful day but getting that news this afternoon um, totally turned around my week so um, God answers prayer that's what I gotta say yeah that's uh <laughs> that's pretty awesome and that kind of came today and that was uh pretty good news so super good uh scott says tomorrow six months free of smoking and caffeine Oof. i don't know how you do the caffeine but uh Couldn't do that one <laughs> it's pretty awesome and steve is going fishing this weekend with friends and family it is easter weekend folks i believe tomorrow's a holiday uh we're also going out there so uh, Jade said her win for the week is definitely the rod. I guess the mullet too. And of course, there's an A-Live. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate the effort that went into the costume and the mullet and all that stuff. That was fantastic. So, uh, Cam, win for the week. We're all here again this week to hang out. And that's yeah. what it's all about. Uh, checking in with Mark from Indiana. Rough week as far as work. Uh, but there was a win and it was with my family. They know what I'm dealing with and they gave me support that was much needed. So that's super awesome. That's why family and friends and your support group is so super powerful. Uh, Justin Fisher, 
had an awesome chat with Dana this week. Joined guide school. Ooh. Super excited. Welcome awesome, to guide buddy. school, Justin Fisher. Don't know what you're uh, in for. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we don't dress up like this. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's super exciting. I got a guide, Justin, this summer. Uh, yeah. He's been tuning in to Thursday Night Live, and he decided this week to commit to coming to guide school. So that's I hope awesome. he knows that all big brown trout don't come as easy as they do to him. Yeah, well, we <laughs> talked about that. That's on day seven. Yeah. Uh, Wynn, found time to get on the water with my wife this past weekend, and we both revived a little bit. Well, Jeff, that is absolutely what it's all about. Yeah, um, yeah so, so talk a bit. Or I'll talk a bit about some of my wins. This was a pretty cool week. So last week we talked about... Uh, so one of the guys reached out to me, and uh, he was going through a pretty tough time. We had a really good chat, and uh, there was a connection made through Thursday Night Live, okay? And um, he had lost his job, and he was pretty down in the dumps about it. And through Thursday Night Live, through a connection here, uh, he reached out, he got himself a job. He sent me a message the next day just thanking me, which I have nothing to do with folks. It has nothing to do with me. Uh, but it's you guys in the community and the awesome people that are here together. And like Tim said at the start of the show, uh, it's a family. That's exactly what Thursday Night Live is. So that connection to me was like mind blowing. The other really cool thing was uh, yesterday, I got to take out one of my good buddies and his nine year old son. And it was uh, Leo's nine year old sons. It was both their birthdays. They had them about a week apart. And so for Leo's ninth birthday, his dad got him waders, boots, fly rod, reel, got them all set up. And so Leo hasn't really fly fished much. He may try it a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I, I gifted him a trip on the bow in my boat and we got out. And so Leo's been tying some flies that we've been working on, you know, the past couple seasons with Thursday Night Live. And it's legit. I sat there and watched him tie and I watched him whip finish the entire thing. And so... Believe it or not, this is a true story. He caught his first fish on a fly rod on a fly that he tied from Thursday Night Live. And uh, awesome. yeah, if it, so it cool. doesn't get better than that. And I got to be there. And then uh, at the end of the day, his dad pulled in an absolute tank of a brown. And so uh, up until then, he was getting completely skunked. So I said he went from skunk to hunk. <laughs> and uh <laughs> So yeah, little things that are so uh, freaking awesome. And now let's get back to you guys here. So, uh, man, here's Jason. This week has been full of wins. A great feeling from the past week. Yes, that's so good to hear. Um, wow, Tim, that's crazy. If you ever need a hand, never be afraid to ask. Absolutely. As the same goes for you guys. Yeah. We're here for you. You're here for us. Uh, Colin with Rocky Mountain Fly Shop was my beautiful wife, I cannot read with these glasses, and the absolutely amazing, uh, where to go? <laughs> and the absolute amazing day I had today with my brother Cody for the Red Deer River opener. Not much more yeah. I could have asked for this week, guys. That was basically picture perfect. It was That's a good so awesome. one. Super awesome. Adrian said, my days off were my first on dad duty by myself. Oh, nice. It was awesome. Big steps, man. Yeah, Ryan, win this week is going to see my grandfather with my daughter this weekend. Lockdowns or not, F suck cancer. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, man. And that's uh, Ben went out. I think Ben was going to see his, I think it was his dad out, out in BC. Um, the uh, home that they're in was allowing guests to come now, so he finally that's got amazing. to go see him. So. Okay, Wes. Oh, his new hide's hitting the water tomorrow. Ooh, Me and China. you both, buddy. New Me boat both. tomorrow. Yeah. By Lou, been working for six months on a staircase build and got commissioned today for it. Well, that's, oh, that's really yeah. awesome. Uh, what else we got? Chaz, better late than never. My win is I had an awesome chat with Jason Andrew Beggs, go teammate. Yeah, buddy. That's exactly what the story I was talking about, folks. Yeah. Um, uh, Mark I had a big win on the river today Took the day off and enjoyed being outside Two PBs on the boat 25 inch rainbow Also got to play squash again yesterday What a blast So thankful for you guys doing this too Thank you Much love to you my friend 
Um, Steve Johnson says, watching my grandson, Benji Boy, who is one and a half years old, love his new Spider-Man bike, brings it all back to the 80s. That's the 80s for me. (laughs) Yeah, that's awesome. Love people catch fish. Yes, Mark, exactly right. LPCF. Yeah, LCPF. There we go. It is a powerful group, and the group is only powerful because of the awesome people that we're just a couple dorks in neon highlighter (laughs) shirts, crashing Uh, live streams and whatever. Uh, Mr. Riley, going to see my son too tomorrow in Albuquerque and watches him play in a spring football game this Saturday. The family and I have watched him play on TV, but this will be our first time watching him in person. That's got to be special. Well, that's all. Is that Cy or Sear, uh, Mr. Riley? Yeah. Uh, and he also said he got to watch son number three get an interception in his high school football game today in a scrimmage. His four-game season begins next Friday. Well, Super awesome, dude. starting off on the right foot. Yeah. Trevor, oh look at this baby number two coming all oh, the way. Oh man, congrats, brother! Yeah, that is epic. That's awesome. Sean oh, said this is a little jealous. The first night of spring break. That is awesome too. Oh yeah. Donna, Donna Smith, when wrapped up my job, finished moving to my dream home with my husband, PJ, and now ready to start my new job next week. Oh man. So. One thing I forgot to mention here, guys. Th- this is this. I shared this with Tim. Um. Okay, so I need to ask if because uh, I don't totally know, but Teresa. She said she follows Thursday Night Live. No, get this, folks. This is so cool. This, this, this is what it's all about. Um. She says, "Hey, Dana, I've been following along. I'll try to do this to read to you guys." I've been following along on Thursday nights, and although I've never met you and Tim, I hope to one day get up there um, in the next year or two to fish with you guys. Y'all have inspired me to bring some light to other people, so I'd like to work with you guys on sponsoring a trip for a father and their kid. Somebody that comes in and hangs out, or shop is what she said, but we're not a shop, um, and doesn't think that they can swing the cost, or somebody that we can get some recommendations from you guys from the community. People that need a day on the river for their mental health and for their relationship with their kids. Please let me know if you'd consider this and I'd be happy to fund a trip for this effort. That's so do you, amazing. Do you hear this? Like this this is the this is the stuff folks. They talk about the pay it forward. I just talk about turning your light bulb up. Yeah. Like you let your light shine. So I, I agreed. I think that's pretty fantastic. And then she said, um, I'd really appreciate the op- I apologize if you didn't want your name mentioned, but um, you've got to get some. This is pretty cool. I, I really appreciate the opportunity to help. Growing up, my dad and brother never treated me as a tag along. Instead, they were, they were my fishing and hunting buddies. My dad always focused on our success in the field before his own, and I am forever grateful for what he has taught me. Nowadays, the roles are reversed, and I try to get my dad every opportunity to catch more fish than I do. Growing up in southwest Pennsylvania, guide trips didn't exist as as most of our streams are very small. We never had the money to take guided trips out west, and it wasn't until adulthood that I recognized that that was actually a thing. Fast forward to today, and I've been very fortunate to have a very good job that affords me opportunities that I never had growing up. I feel like it's my duty to pass this along to others and no no greater way than something I love so dearly. Thanks again for doing this. You have literally made my day. Wow. So that's the, that's the people we have here for. That's, like, that's, that's you guys. That's you that guys. is literally the light that you guys shine upon people is uh Yeah, it's it's a p- truly amazing. So yeah, reach out to us if you know people in the community um, that that we can help with this, folks. Uh, 100%. We got we're gonna, we're gonna need your guys' help. Probably somebody somewhat local, um, and we will take care of that. Uh, Blake said my 77 year old mom made it back to work at our family business this week after having heart surgery. She is awesome. Also got to spend time fly fishing in my buddy's pond the bream were starting to hit top water flies oh that's super fun that's awesome yeah faith football family that's how mr riley and the rileys work down in yeah. in 
the California. Got to add okay. one more F in there. Yeah, Black fishing. <laughs> We're going to get you, Mr. Riley. Okay. When Ivor, my grandson, wished me happy birthday on the radio. Wow, that's super that's cool. cool. Did the radio crash? <laughs> uh, Bruce. Got the new shank jaws on the Norvice from Rocky Mountain oh, Fly awesome Shop. Bruce. Oh, yeah, the good folks at Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. Amazing. Okay, let's see what the beautiful wife has to say. Walked through some challenges and tears this week, but had the best boyfriend, she calls me boyfriend, to support me through it all, like he always does. I did not pay her to say that, folks. <laughs> yes, uh, find, find yourself someone like Janine. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, do do do. Thanks, TNL family, for another great night. Till next week. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Guys. The season for the reason. The reason for the season, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, it's an awesome idea. I'll pitch in. Light bulb is burning. There's Teresa. I believe hey, that Teresa. is Teresa right there. Light bulb that is. is and I don't know if she's commented before, but uh, you just... have. It absolutely blew my mind. I sat on the river and I got the message about two minutes after Leo caught his fish. And I just sat there and read it out loud to Casey. And I was like, this literally makes the world go round. Like, I, yeah. so just being vulnerable, we get a lot of, not a lot, but we get, we get some pretty vulgar, rude messages sent out to us. Um, you know, people hack on things that we do and when you're vulnerable, you open yourself up to it. And sometimes it's exhausting and it's draining. Um, but but quite often, quickly, we're reminded that, uh, yeah, you guys, you and your, your, your damn black lights and bulbs that aren't burning bright, like, yeah, peace out. Later. So that's, that's so freaking awesome. Steve Johnson, love the show. You rock. Until next week. Manana. That's the Manana. Steve, <laughs> we appreciate you joining in. We're glad yeah, you found man. us there a few yeah. weeks ago. Uh, love you guys. You help to keep us in. You guys keep us in. <laughs> <laughs> if this, this is, is a two way street, my friend. If this is sane. <laughs> if this is sane. So, I think it's, I think it's sane. <laughs> I, think, I think another thing Janine says is like uh, quite often when we're going to bed she's always very grateful for like the health of, of the children and and it's it's not that we take it for granted but i think it's something daily to uh remind ourselves that um when the children are healthy uh everything else is pretty minimal right well it's interesting it's like again coming back to whatever your faith may be or whatever it is when it's it's really easy to ask for things um it's hard to be grateful and thankful um, recognizing those things that are positive in your life, you know, like the things that happen yeah. every day. And we do take it for granted, you know, wife, kids, whatever it is. Um, the consistency of having someone in your life, whoever it is, that's there for you. And what we've selfishly found is that a lot of you are those people now. Um, and that's also why it's just why we love this so much. And it's not hard to show up here every week because because of everything we're reading behind us here. Um, it is truly amazing. It's a blessing. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Just, I just showed the video to Nolan and he started smiling. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's awesome. Man. So, I got something to say, and I don't say this very often, but honestly, I'm just gonna throw this out there because I, this isn't a sales pitch, but I feel like somebody's sitting on the edge about coming to guide school. And I don't know what the hesitation I whether it's whether it's finances, whether it's uh, trepidation of worrying about is it for you? Um, and I'm just urging someone's in here watching right now and they want to pull the trigger. I'm telling you, if if it's finances and you need to work something out, call me. We'll 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 talk, okay? If it's uh, worry or fear that you're not good enough or that you shouldn't be a guide, eliminate that. Right away. Gone. Bye. See you later. If if it's something that you want, so, I know there's someone here. I don't I don't know who it is, but I just had that feeling, and I'm just like, man, come to guide school. Like it's it's like Thursday night live on steroids, and it's six days because we get a fish, and we're we're not sitting here 
in short white shorts. I can wear those short white shorts. I'll I should, wear this on the river. <laughs> you, that's what Tim's wearing tomorrow on the river. But yeah, whatever your fears about signing up for guide school, like I, I remember Shay last year and she just said like, sometimes you just got to take the plunge and not think about all the what ifs at the end of the day, but it's just like, I don't know. It's just some, there's just something so good that comes out of guide school. And I wish we could call it something else like making, I agree. I don't even want to say making better people. I want to say, um, cause that would insinuate that, that you weren't good coming into it. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's just, it's, it's you realize super awesome. The potential and you realize things about yourself. I learn from every student that comes to the school and we get blessed by everyone and I hope they feel the same. Yeah. I know they feel the same. So yeah. Yeah. It's a conversation, so, guys. Reach out. Really, yeah. Honestly. Justin, if you're still in here, man, I'm, I'm super pumped you're coming. I yeah. truly enjoyed the day on the river with you and, and just having that conversation about why uh, you want to come to guide school. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's, you should have snuck over and under the tarp on my boat. Get up here for guide school. Man. Yeah. I know. That makes yeah. it tough, too. Guide school 2022. As soon as this yeah. freaking border opens and the world stabilizes, so, all right, folks, well, we, we hung on real long because we glitched and we fell apart. Uh, we appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Uh, thanks, Jade, for the awesome haircutting skills. And, uh, Costumes are killer. Uh, yeah, I think that's kind of where everyone's Goodbyes at. Are hard, you know? Goodbyes are hard. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. <laughs> all right, then. Let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see those shorts one more time. Oh, uh, man, they are up in places I, they shouldn't be. <laughs> I can't even get, uh, I can't even stand up. <laughs> it's not good, uh, folks. It's, you ever heard of Hubba Bubba? <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> when the shorts are short, you know what they say. Uh, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Jade said if you need a mullet, hit her up, and I replied... I can't. I do. I essentially do. It's like yeah, short just, and long, right? Sort of. Back. It's, uh, Party in the front. Rewind those cassettes, folks. Yeah. yeah, get this stitch back together. So I can't <laughs> promise I'm going to do that tonight because I got to go to bed and get up and go fishing and all yeah, that stuff. So good stuff. Yeah, that's where it is. That's where it is. It's Easter. It's Easter, it is folks. Easter. Yeah. Absolute phenomenal time. It, it's weird with Easter. It changes every year. Like. Boy, did we we have a good Easter fishing trip a couple years ago with Janine. Yeah, um, we sure did. That was, that was one of the better days yeah. of fishing we've had. Okay. Macho Man Randy Savage. So. <laughs> all right, 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 all right folks. Appreciate everybody. Uh, I gotta pee. So that's a, that's kind of <laughs> yeah, where she ends here. Stops, so. Yeah, we love, uh, you guys. love people catch fish. Uh, I'm Dana Lottery. I'm Tim Hepworth. And okay, we'll uh, see you next week. we're with Fly Fishing Boat Rail Fitters. I love you guys. Reach out, call, text, whatever you need. Don't let six days go by with stuff going on in your head. And you need someone to talk to. We're here. Everybody in the comments is there. We're family. We're not just fly time. We're not just a bunch of dorks hanging out. Uh, we're family. You've yeah. literally joined the family. So we'll see you guys. What are we tying next week? I don't even know. WD-40 and uh, Quill Gordon, maybe. I've got that in the back of my mind. I don't know. But we'll see you next Thursday. So have a fantastic week. Spread the light. Share the love. Keep those yeah. bulbs bright. Yeah. Love you guys.